Hey YouTube fans, Lifted Off Road here again. The little project I worked on today it took me about 45 minutes. I'm gonna tarp over the door, keep the rain off, and maybe some shade during the mid afternoon. It's not very good for shade right now because the sun is setting right there. So in the evenings, it doesn't do any shade. And the sun rises over there. So the mornings and evenings, no shade. Midday, shade. An idea of how cheap these tarps are. That grommet is already starting to rip out. And hasn't even been 30 minutes yet. And that's, that's just one of them. But yeah, today I, I screwed bolts into the walls and hung the tarp with those carabiner clips. And then I tied it off. Tied one side down there. And I got the others tied off to this railing right here. So, some midday shade and some rain protection. Hopefully it works. Heavy winds, it probably won't last very long. But we'll see. Lift it off road. Yeah. Well, as expected, the blue plastic tarp only lasted a few days before the wind ripped it down. And you can see the grommets up there still. was expected. It was a blue plastic car. And for not being very strong. So I got a new tarp. It's a canvas one, 10 ounce, 9 by 12. I got about five bungee cords. Some one foot lengths of paracord that I'm gonna use for loops. And some nuts. And zoom in on here quarter inch by 20, a 10 pack, 20 of those, and some various lengths of paracord. And I got marker, make my life easier, I'll show you that in a few. Got my ladder, it's a cool ass ladder. It's pretty cool, it's compact, but once you extend it and climb on it, it does bend. So it's, it feels like it's not very stable, but I've been up on it a few times and it seems to be all right. So that's cool. And with my tarp parts there, the nuts I got in place of stones or marbles. I could probably find stones if I want to, but I didn't feel like looking for them. And marbles are almost impossible to find around here. I've never seen any in any of the stores. So I'm going to use those in the one foot lengths for tie out points. And I'll be back in a few after I get it spread out. Okay, what I did here was mark which side was which. I got 12 feet going that, so that way, 9 feet going that way. Put another one there in the middle. There in the corners. And there on that side. One thing that always irritates me is not knowing which corner I'm grabbing. Here's the first corner I did. I just put one of the nuts in there, made a loop, and looped it through. Use that for one tie down point. We'll see how long this lasts. I'm still gonna mark the other side though. The other the other corners. It is laid out and the wind's trying to take it away from me already. And get back in a few after I do a few more steps. 
Okay, stage one is complete. I got my tie outs put on. I got it hanging from the wall. That corner I'm using with a bungee. Give a little bit of a angle on that last several inches. And all that went up pretty well with his nuts and the little loops that I've tied onto them. Hopefully this will last me a lot longer than the plastic tarp did. Now I just got to string up the other side and I'll be stringing those up to this wall right here using the bungee cords and some various lengths of paracord and then I'll have some have some shade and some rain protection. Now this canvas drop cloth did not have a backing on it like a plastic or coating on it or something so I'm assuming this will absorb water and it'll probably get pretty heavy but it's gonna be at a steep enough angle that most of the water will run off and I'm gonna have bungees on it this time to give it some flex for the wind we do get a lot of wind out here so one of these days I might pull up one of those oil cloth recipes and coat it with some oil cloth stuff to make it more waterproof but for now it should be better than nothing we'll see how it works and plus with this canvas tarp it should be a lot more durable so I'll be able to use it for for years to come like you can see down here on the corner I marked the sides and the length like I mentioned earlier I get frustrated when I grab a corner and I don't know which way is what or if I grab a side and I don't know what side it is I have well yeah I've got a marking on there somewhere that tells me that that's the long side so whenever I grab it after it's folded up I should know already how to orientate it to my purpose at hand and hopefully this tarp will last me a many years since it is a 10 ounce canvas now I just got to string up the other side and create some shade Let's see you in a few all right there you go it is now up I already had one of the tie out points come out on me when I went back up and tied it up it was that one right there in the center of the screen went back up and tied it up again I think it lost tension that's why it came off because there was no tension on it holding it tight so I think that's why so down here I got the bungee cords give it some flex in the wind so hopefully the wind won't rip it up it almost matches the building a good aerial camouflage maybe <laughs> from the air There you go. I got this corner tied down a little bit. A little bit of an angle on the roof. Here's one of the tie outs. I tied this one without the bungee cord straight to this pillar right here. If the bungee cords give way on me, at least I'll have one. I'll have one string that's tied securely. The rest of them. I just tied it with bungee cords. I put a loop in it, hooked on the bungee cord, and tied up some of the slack so it's not hanging down so much. And on this side, I just hooked it on the railing. Tried to space them out some to keep the, the front edge flat. So that's adjustable with the bungee cords. I can adjust it a lot easier now. So there you go. Nice little tarp. Some suburban bushcraft. Not bushcraft bushcraft, but it's suburban bushcraft. Bushcraft in the suburbs. Like I said, it's just canvas, so it's not going to be waterproof. But we'll see how well it does in the rain. It rains a lot, so I'll definitely have a chance to, to witness it. 
I just hope the wind doesn't rip it out or it doesn't come apart like the last one did. With the bungee cords, I suspect it should be okay. So there you go, a nice little awning for the roof. Nice little awning over the door. Keep the rain off so I can come outside and smoke or sit in my chair, enjoy the weather. There's my chair. I like coming out here sometimes. Got the little radio, the iPod, got my chair. Come out here and enjoy the weather. There you have it. Another episode of Lifted Off Road. Outdoor projects, suburban bushcraft, whatever you want to call it. Trying to make attempts to make life a little bit nicer. Hopefully this one will last a while. I well, hope you like this series or this video. I'll probably jumble them all together to make one, one long video as opposed to several short videos. Hope you like it. Subscribe. I'll be doing more later on. I got more videos coming. So like and subscribe and make comments. All that other hoopla that everybody else says at the end of their YouTube videos. Enjoy, have a good day, and have fun. Later.